So to do this, you're going to be looking at a particular enzyme called peroxidase. But first, just some, some general things about enzymes. Imagine a little molecule here where we have a molecule that has these two pieces, A and B, and they're held together by a covalent bond in the middle here. And a potential reaction that could happen is that that bond could break, and then we would have just molecule A and molecule B independent of each other. Now, this particular reaction might not happen under normal conditions that you would find inside of a cell because this covalent bond between these two is really quite strong and it would be hard for enough energy to be focused on that bond for the, uh, for the two molecules to break apart. But now we can think about the role of an enzyme. So and here's, I'm going to draw an enzyme. This, is, this big shape here is supposed to represent this three-dimensional conformation of this enzyme. And there's this little pocket on the side of the enzyme, which as you can see is just the right shape to hold this molecule. Here's A and B. And this is a bit of an oversimplification, but the enzyme holds this molecule in such a way that the, the bond between A and B is stressed. And that makes it much easier to break that bond and get to our, our, our final products here. These are the products of the reaction. Okay, so just some important terms here. The thing uh, that the enzyme acts on, this is called the substrate. And this little pocket here inside the enzyme where the substrate fits in is called the active site. This is where the reaction actually takes place. And what this drawing is really designed to show is that it's the shape of this enzyme, the conformation, that really makes it able to do its job, which is to catalyze this chemical reaction.